definitely responsibility. It's something people often don't even think about when they go to the Philippines or marry somebody from the Philippines. Because a lot of the thoughts are short term. They don't think that they may die and leave everybody to drop into poverty that's around them and they loved and cared for, with, uh, cared for and shared their lives with. Um, which is why I wanted to make this video. Because there's many things you can do um, to make sure that your family's taken care of. And it's not just financial. Financial does not help in many ways. Um, I've known people being left large houses and other things. They were gone in six months because the families basically were overrun. Um, you get the extended family saying, buy us this, buy us that, you have all the money, that sort of thing. What you need to do is get change the way people think. Um, make them self-sufficient, self-reliant. Um, more aggressive and aware of how you'll get abused by your own family if you let it happen. Because at the end of the day, the Philippines culture basically says that if I got you through school, you're responsible for me till I die. Um, that's ingrained. It's a reverse culture to the West where you want your kids to progress and not worry about you because you look after yourself. It's the reverse. That's why you see people retire early because they go, oh, I've got kids in work now. What they mean is, now my kids are working, I can stop because I'm going to live off them. That doesn't happen in my family. And you want to uh, reverse engineer the way people uh, do that in your family. Um, make them aware that, no, they can't live off you. And they can't live off your wife. They can't live off your kids. The, the, the fact is, a family unit, financially, should only be, go as far as that i have a triangle for this where you have like me and my wife at the top then our kids come second then it basically we look after our, our priority is ourselves our children um then april's parents and then the siblings may fall in under that but it, we don't extend further than that why should we half these people we never see um but on top of that, April's parents were self-sufficient because the day we actually sat down and talked about business, I said, I'm, I don't give money to anybody. I'll help anybody help themselves. So I don't donate, donate things. Um, unless it's a project we're actually doing or something else. But the fact is, April's parents were self-sufficient. They just needed a helping hand to get things started. And once it got started, they look after themselves. April's brother... Is self sufficient and working in Macau. Um, and the disputes we've had have been nothing to do with the direct members of family. It's been extended. It's the aunts, it's the uncles, it's the, you know, it's not your immediate family that create the problems. And this is why you need to um, get your partner to be stronger. Um, also play things down. Don't show wealth. You don't need to show wealth. There's nobody to impress in the Philippines. Impressing people just means that you're more at risk of being robbed. Um, there's nothing to... There's no need to promote anything. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. People think you're rich anyway. But there's a difference between people thinking you're rich and you showing them. Because when you show them, that's where you're high, making yourself a risk. So, yeah, it's important that, A, you teach your partner to be more strong. Um, also have a more of a Western attitude relating to um, family, where the family unit works as father, father, wife, children, and the extended family are responsibility of the other families. Uh, you know, if, if you have kids, you're responsible, not me. Um, but also the, how to manage money better, how to uh, value money, because you've got, you've got a culture where money is not always valued because it's often funded by people overseas. Um, I know people where they've told their son, don't work because you, you don't earn enough, so you should just 
sit at home and get wasted most of the day. Um, where I'm more of a, everybody should work regardless of the amount, because it's not the amount that you're earning that's important. It's the work ethic, it's the responsibility, it's education, it's development. Sitting at home with your friends getting drunk every day, all that, all that does is create another parasite for the next generation. Um, so yeah, you need to really think about this one now. Yeah.